Whoo, I got seven more weeks, seven more weeks, seven more weeks. And I wish this shit will hurry up and speed up. My pregnancy was so good up until right now at 33 weeks. Because I'm being stressed out by the, the person that I'm pregnant by and his kid's mother. And at this point, you know what I'm saying? I try to talk about it with him, but I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to just get through this moment and not be stressed out and have this baby. But I feel like, I have a few friends, I have one friend that feels I'm wrong for my thoughts. And I have another friend that kind of agrees, kind of agrees, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing is, he has kids by a different mother. And when he first got with me, the kid, she took his kids away. Like I said on the last video, she took his kids away and she said he was a deadbeat. So she didn't want him to see his kids. And I kind of knew that before I gave birth that she was going to come back and be on something different. And just like I said, that's exactly what she did. So now all of a sudden, she's been calling. Well, she gets her daughter to call. She gets her daughter to call. And she wants him to be a part of their kids' life. And I'm asking him, why couldn't, why did she have to snatch the kids away? Why she have to put the kids through that? You know what I'm saying? She could have. And the thing is, this is what pisses me off. This is the first time she did this to him. You know what I'm saying? It's not the first time. I did my own lurking. You know what I'm saying? And looking on Facebook back two years ago or three years ago, back in 2019, and seeing that she was doing the same thing back then. You know what I'm saying? So why would you allow yourself to be a puppet for somebody or a doormat to let them keep doing something over and over and over to you? But you know what? I don't interfere with people's business. That's not like, you know, I withdraw myself. And I think that's what has happened. You know, I kind of been pulling away. And, you know, when you pull away, you don't really feel what you used to feel. So, you know, I think it's kind of selfish that they both want to do this at the time when I'm giving birth. I, would that be selfish for me to say that? Because I'm the one that have to, I have to go through it too. Like, for the sake of my unborn child, I'll be like, look, you do this all the time. I mean, I don't know. I just expect him to just be more, like, stand up for himself. But if she been dogging him for 13 years, however long they've been together, and he accepted and keep going back, it's not going to change now. <laughs> it's no difference now. You know, it's not. <clears throat> I'm just tired. I'm really tired. You know, I don't want to be fake anymore. I feel like I'm being fake. Because deep down, I really, I just, I'm just tired. Like, it's a turn off to see that somebody you with is even a doormat. Like, dang, well, I would hate if something happened to me. You know what I'm saying? And you had to stand up for me. You know? You you wouldn't even do it. <laughs> you know? But I'm not mad because I'd be glad that everything shows itself. Because who want to keep pursuing in a relationship and you really don't know who you with so you know you can't be mad when things show itself or present itself i'm not mad that it that i'm seeing the true colors of them you know how she dog them leave them come back he accepted i'm not mad about that i'm glad that i've seen it it's just that right now i'm kind of tired you know what i'm saying i feel like i just want him to just I want him what I want out the whole thing which I know is going to be super duper hard I want him to leave let me enjoy these next few weeks of pregnancy by myself I really want him to leave I do I'm not going to lie <clears throat> I want him to leave and I'm not saying that I'm saying that because I've been pregnant three times and 
my other two pregnancies i did by myself and all by myself no father around and women think that's stupid but to me it's peaceful because you don't have to be bothered with nobody chaos nobody problems you can just worry about yourself being alone that yeah that part might sound selfish but at a certain point i feel like i need to be selfish because i have another life to protect i can't stress myself out over shit that i can't control so i say like this go 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 do what the fuck you gotta do and just let me be for these next few weeks let me be by myself for these next few weeks so that i can be at peace and have my baby and later on i'll be able to deal with the bullshit and the chaos but right now i don't want to deal with it it's hard it's hard being pregnant and then the more stress i get the more contractions i get and it's like it's so fucking it's so fucking stressful i just want to be by myself i like i don't even care at this point like go you know, I ain't never been the type of chick to hold on to no nigga, you know, because I can find another one real quick with no problem at all. I don't want one right now. I don't want to do I just want solitude right now. I just want to be by myself. I don't want to be around nobody's baby mama drama. I don't want to deal with no nigga that got baby mama issues. I just want him really to go. Like, I really want him to go. It's sad that I don't want to be with him. And I'm just being honest. And when we around each other, I really don't have nothing to say because that's how I feel. He keep asking me, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't want to be with you. Like, I don't like dealing with niggas with messy ass baby mama problems. That's, I'm too old for that. I'm fucking about to be 44 in a few weeks. What the fuck I look like dealing with a nigga with a messy ass baby mama? Nigga, bye. Miss me with that shit. I got other shit to worry about. I'd rather stack my money in a bank and be happy than to be sitting around with money miserable with some nigga. I need to meet somebody that's on the same level of shit that I'm on. He ain't got no drama in his life. He got his shit together. You know what I'm saying? We are two separate people. And our age is like a big goddamn difference. And I see how because the shit he going through is some shit that I would never go through. I wouldn't. And I love my YouTube channel because I could talk about whatever the fuck I'm going through. It's hard trying to talk to people because I had friends be like, oh, you selfish. You selfish. You should care about the kids. Well, let me just tell you this. Let me just put this out there for all those who don't understand the story. I opened my home up to all of them. Him, the kids, and the baby mom at the beginning. Because I don't believe that we need to beef because it's stupid. I'm not one of those... I'm not one of those girlfriends that like to be beefed out with the kid's mother. That's not me. So I made sure that I was open-hearted with all of them. You know, um, she was welcome over. Her kids was welcome. Everybody was welcome over. You know, my, I wasn't sad or nothing like that. But after a while, she turned into, he said she's bipolar. She turned into, I don't know, what the fuck. But whatever it was, I did not want to be bothered with it. I was like, oh, no, this is so dysfunctional. You know, the way that she talked to him in front of her kids, the way she did her kids, he would pick them up. I think I got a video on here all the way back in December about the experience that I went through with them. That's when she took his kids away. The whole situation was messy as fuck. It's a video on here back in December. I can't remember when it was. Or was it December? I can't remember when it was. But it was. it's on here. And I remember them going through some messy ass shit. And I was just like, oh no. So now, you know what I'm saying? When she come back, fucking four months later, five months later, something about some, oh, I want you to pick the kids up and I want you to watch them. I'm like, no. No, and you need to tell her that I'm not your option no more. You need to tell her when she be like, I want you to pick the kids up. Okay, pick the kids up and come where? Because you're not about to bring them kids over here and play tug of war. You're not about to bring them kids over here and have, think that my house is an option for him to 
you know what I'm saying, do right by you, you don't do right by him. So, no, my house is not an option anymore. You burn, she burn bridges. And just because she burned bridges with him and used him as a doormat, do not mean she about to do the same thing with me. If he had his own place, that would be different. But since we both share a place, you cannot do him wrong and think that would he come back and tell me that I'm going to be okay with it. No. You or your kids at this point is no longer welcome at my house until you get your shit together and stop using them kids as a pawn and using them to control him. When you can show that you're not on no bullshit for three or four months, then yeah, I'll be happy for them to come back over here and play. But I'm not about to let them back over here, not because I'm selfish, because I don't want them to keep getting snatched away. They're allowed to come over here this weekend. Next weekend, they're not allowed. Then the next week, no, you they can't go over there. You got to find somewhere else for them to go because of her emotions and her feelings. I'm not going to put them kids through that. If neither one of them know how to be solid parents, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? My place is not an option for them to ding off. You come over here, ding. Then you can't come over here, ding. Then you come over here, ding. Then you can't come over. No, I'm not going to be a part of that. So for the my one friend that caused me selfish and was like, you need to think about the kids. No, I am thinking about the kids. I'm not going to involve them kids in stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a part of, oh, we could go over her house. Oh, mommy mad. We can't go over her house. No, I'm not going to do that. And he has to be the father where he has to find somewhere. He has to figure out what he gonna do with his kids but the only thing that i don't like is when he's dealing with her he has to drink you know what i'm saying he has to drink which he gets belligerent and he has to lie or dealing with her comes with a lot of spirits you know what i'm saying and that's the part that's a turn off that's the part where i'm like oh we just we're not on the same page i don't even want you to touch me i'm straight Sometimes I hope you just stay out. I wish he would be the type of dude to just spend a night out. Just don't even come back home. Just stay where the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? And after I had a baby, y'all might have to sit down and have a talk and be like, look, my house is not the bar. You can't just, you know what I'm saying, leave every day and every weekend and run to the city and think that you would come back here. You know, like, no, I don't. When you leave, don't come back. Like, I'm even cool to the point where I feel like, okay, you know what? Maybe you need to get your own apartment. <laughs> you know? Maybe we're not working out, but you definitely need to get your own apartment. Because I don't think living together will be healthy. I'm so tired of living with different people. I do it because, you know, you know, you want to try out different relationships. But after a while, you just get tired because it's like, we all know how it's going to end. You know what I'm saying? And no relationship is perfect. I'm not expect, expect no relationship to be perfect. But I'd rather not be in a relationship than be in a relationship, to be honest. But, yeah. So I wish these seven weeks would hurry up and breeze by. So the stress that I'm going through, I won't have to put my baby through. Because I can feel the stress. I feel like I look stressed. I feel like that girl that who was came out and said he was cheating on you. I definitely feel stressed. And with nobody around, you know what I'm saying? Because I really don't have too many friends. The shit is really bad. I have basically like one person to really talk to who can understand where I'm coming from. Everybody else, I don't really let in my circle. But yeah.